Ten years ago, city officials say downtown Roanoke was home to 11 residents. Now 1,200 people call this historic area home, and part of the reason for the rebirth and interest in the area is the historic city market and the local farmers who sell here almost every day of the week. This market started in 1882, um, right across the street from us at the city market building. All the mar uh, farmers would pull up uh, for the day, probably about four in the morning, and sell all of their stuff until it was gone. And eventually it moved over to this side of the street um, in the early teens. And in the early 90s, um, you know, they redid the market and then it just rejuvenated uh, downtown business. So we have plenty of locally owned restaurants and shops, and that's all because of this market. The market wasn't always busy. In fact, many residents outside Market Street wouldn't come downtown years ago. But efforts by city officials and farmers that supported the market helped bring residents back to the heart of the city. I think a farmer's market creates a place of community where people can come. And when you have that, people tend to flock to that and then they stay downtown and shop and, and eat. So I definitely think farmer's market is a way to, um, to get your downtown the, e the economy going again. At the peak of market season, 30 to 50 vendors from farmers to artisans call this city block their home away from home. Some have been selling their produce here their entire lives. I used to come down with my mom and grandma. Um, my mom they used to sell eggs down here, so I would come down in the little the baby carrier uh, when I was just a baby. So I've, this is my, basically like my second home. You know, I can remember when it used to be a little shady, but it's all good. I mean. Um, you know, you got the, the country charm and what they've done to this downtown area here and all the restaurants that you have down here and the retail. Uh, it's a great atmosphere down here on, on the market. Farmers like Woods have developed relationships over the years with customers that visit his stand. It is the accountability and respect for the area that has brought customers back for more, like Don Erdman, who moved to the Roanoke area more than 20 years ago. Since then, um, a lot of things have come downtown virtually because of all this and uh, with our trying to eat healthier and so forth uh, we look for the local farmers to get produce and this is a one-stop shopping. I don't think we'd see as much coming downtown without the market area. Uh, there are numerous restaurants, there's a lot of downtown living now and I think that has a big is a big result of what the farm market has done. Today, the market offers herbs, flowers, fruits, vegetables, vegetable plants, meats, and fresh eggs. Local artisans also sell their creations at the market. It is open year-round, seven days a week, and closes only on Christmas and New Year's Day. We really haven't had that slump that everyone else has. We've been very fortunate, you know, and that is mostly due to the market and um, also our residents willing to come down here and shop and support us. So. I, I believe that it, it not only saved, but it made Roanoke. Plans are underway to renovate Market Square to focus more attention on local producers and their fresh food items. Construction begins in 2014. For more information, go to downtownroanoke.org. Reporting in Roanoke, I'm Sherry McKinney.